Happy Friday everyone, it's the 10th of November, this is an update from everything from the school this week and beyond. Today we commemorated Remembrance Day, um, a very poignant day, um, by holding a two minute silence, obviously acknowledging everyone who has served in the armed forces and also lost their lives in any conflict. Um, during the silence we asked students to reflect on how fortunate we are to live in a peaceful country, think about those who gave their lives so they can live, so we can live freely, and to consider your own loved ones and what they mean to you. We, we showed a PowerPoint um, to explain the meaning of Remembrance Day, the meaning of the poppy and what that symbolises. Um, and then we also had the last post played just before the two minutes at silence started. It was done by Florence here and Evie went across to Aldrington to support them as well. So this week was Eco Week and one of the things we did was have a nature photography competition and you can see all the winners there. Congratulations to Henry, Sherlock and Emma who were our first places um, but also the second and third day you can see how wonderful the pictures are. They certainly wouldn't look out of place in a gallery. And um, thank you to everyone who took part. It's so important that we, we, we recognise the wonders that are around us and the quality of these photo photographs. I mean, that, the, the fly from Henry is just unbelievable. So thank you to everyone who took part and thank you to the staff who organised it. Just want to highlight this, the Rotary Club of Reading are having their 10th Christmas event. It is the Santa Run and Walk. Lots of information um, on there. Please do have a look at the QR code that's on the poster as well. It's Sunday the 10th of December at the University of Reading. There is a 2K mini run or walk at 10 a.m. and a timed 5K run at 10.30. Uh, it's anti-bullying next week, really important topic. We, we do not accept bullying of any form here at this school. Um, we have got the anti-bullying gold award. That doesn't mean that we stand still. We continually try and make things better. The theme this time is making noise about bullying. Um, and we've launched a competition to try and wait, raise awareness at that, which is think about the make a noise video on the link. Um, how did this express its message for anti-bullying week? Your job is to upload a video, poem, or any other form of media that we can use for our own social media platforms. And we're going to upload it to their year group Google Classrooms by Friday the 24th of November. So a couple of weeks to be able to do that. Of course, the way in which we do this is target bullying. Um, we need to make sure we've got a, we've got a target bullying email address, MES target at Maiden Early Trust. So if you as parents or your child is concerned about themselves being bullied or anyone else being bullied, you can use that if you want to do it anonymously. But of course, you can just email the school. We, we always investigate this. Um, the other thing that we hear a lot of the time is it's just banter. Well, actually, no. Um, anyone who feels upset by any comments that are made, that is completely unacceptable. Again, let us know about that and we can deal with that. Just a reminder, it isn't full as yet. There's an invitation on Wednesday the 15th of November from 6 p.m. at St. Crispin's. Um, do fill in the form if you want to come. This is the Positive Choices Police event. It's part of our Weapon and Crime Safety Initiative and, and we're working in with the police on that one. A few number of schools, a small number of schools have been offered this opportunity and we wanted to take that up. Um, Ollie Stevens' parents, um, obviously the young man who tragically had his life taken in January 21, will also be present to share their tragic story. Um, the event is restricted to a maximum of 140 people and they're on a first come first serve basis. So please, please, please do sign up to this event. Thank you for all the responses I received um, to my letter or email on Tuesday evening. Um, it was really, really nice to get so many praise emails. Actually, that wasn't the purpose of it, but but it was it was tremendous. And in particular, from those in year seven, where their children had settled in really, really well. And um, we know that it's a huge step for for children to join a big school and, and certainly for parents as well. But the, the amount of times I was hearing that their child was happy, they've loved school, they've really enjoyed it, they've settled in, they've made new friends. So, so thank you for all the feedback on that. As I say, if we get things wrong and I accept that, please do get in touch with us and we will do our best to try and resolve it. But thank you for all your support on this matter. And that's it for this week. I hope the weather uh, remains favourable for us over the weekend. Um, have a restful time and I look forward to seeing the students back on Monday again.